Hey everybody, it's Caleb from Wanna Share Filmora, here to empower your inner video creator. Are you a Marvel fan? They have like a hundred movies, but some of them just hit different. Guardians of the Galaxy is one of those series. I mean, the characters are just so lovable and unique. And what really sets this movie apart is its stunning visuals, especially in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Groot dances in front of a monster, along with the title coming in. Today, I'm gonna try and recreate this specific title in Filmora 12. Let's go. Welcome to the frickin' Guardians of the Galaxy. The first step for creating our epic title card is filming me doing my best dance moves. To make sure we capture all my epic dance moves, I'm gonna adjust the camera and pull it a bit further from the green screen. That way we'll be able to see my entire body in the frame. Then I'll position an LED light on my right side to imitate the light spilled from the neon light in the title card. Then let's move on to Filmora 12 to start editing. If you haven't already downloaded Filmora 12, you can do it at filmora.wondershare.com or at the link in the description. First, let's import the background of this title card. I found a futuristic teleportation space from the stock footage, and I think it would be the perfect background for our title. The futuristic theme fits right in with the Guardians of the Galaxy vibe. I'm gonna drag and drop it onto the first video track on the timeline. Oh, make sure you have the proper license when using stock footage. That'll save you a lot of trouble later. To make our background even more eye-catching, we need to add an overlay. To do this, go to Effects on the top left, search for Dreamy Overlay 18, drag and drop the overlay onto the second video track on the timeline. Make sure the length of the overlay matches the background clip. I'll keep the opacity of the overlay at 100. Then we can start adding the main titles to the timeline. Go to the top left title window, then the 3D title section, and find the title called 3D Metal Title 04. This title is very similar to our reference, so let's go ahead and use this one. Drag and drop the 3D Metal Title 04 to the third video track. Don't worry about the length of the title yet, we can adjust it later. Just make sure the end of the title clip aligns with the end of the background clip. Now I'm going to add the Guardians of the Filmora title separately in different sizes and different alignments, mimicking the style of our reference. Change it to this font that is again like our reference title. Adjust the size and position of each title clip accordingly. I'm gonna turn off all the animations of these titles. Highlight each title and go to the setting window. Find the 3D animation tab. Choose none in both animation in and out settings. And just like that, the main title is complete. The neon texts are up next. Go to titles on the top left again. Find the plain text folder and drag and drop the basic six title on top of the text. I'm gonna change the text to volume one, then go to the advanced editing mode of the text. Let's find a font that fits the neon light style. Adjust the size of the title. I'm gonna set it to 100. Now it's time to create the neon effect. Make sure we are in the Customize tab in the setting window and turn off the fill option. Find the outline option right below it and make sure it's turned on. Select the white color here as the brightest part of the text. Adjust the opacity, blur, and thickness. Then click on the Add button to add another outline. I'm gonna choose this purple color as it matches the lighting we did for my dancing footage. Adjust the settings until you're happy with it. Then add another outline. Select the same purple color and adjust the settings accordingly. Adjust the position of the neon text. And the neon effect is on. If you want to create a quick flashing effect in the beginning, simply just add some random short title clips in the beginning. Finally, I'm gonna edit the green screen dancing video clip. Drag and drop the green screen clip on top of the neon light title. Move the video clip around to match the time when the neon light appears with when the LED light turns on in the green screen video clip. Trim the footage if needed. Now double click on the video clip. Go to the top left video panel, select mask, and choose the rectangular mask. 
I'm going to adjust the mask until it only includes the subject. Make sure the subject's movement is always within the mask area. Then let's move to the AI tools. Turn on the chroma key feature. I'm going to pick the green color from here. Then adjust the settings in the chroma key feature until I get the best result. Last but not least, I'll go to the color panel to adjust the color of this video clip to match the background color. Move the subject to the right side of the frame, adjust the size and position a little, and the subject is ready to go. To take this title to the next level, I'll quickly add a water reflection to it. Go to the effects panel on the top left, search for water reflection, drag and drop the effect to the top video track, and make sure it aligns with the length of the background clip. Play back the timeline and adjust the settings until you're happy with it. Now I can play back a few times more to adjust the position, settings, and length of the titles accordingly. And the Guardians of the Galaxy style title is completed. There you have it. Now you know how to make a Marvel style title. It's time to try out this title for yourself. And if you've already created one, we really want to see it. Please leave a link in the comments. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for new videos on the channel. Keep creating and I'll see you next time.